decision. But in the meantime, we'll uh, unravel that decision later. Let's go to Magnus against Rapport. Look at the position here on the board. Looks messy. How packed is that board? One set of minor pieces, I believe. It's just a pure mess. And uh, hey, it does look like it stemmed from a French defense. And we've joined at a crucial moment. Magnus blows open the center by sacrificing a piece. Knight takes pawn. He's giving up a knight on the d5 square. He's trying to open up those two white bishops. Look at them poised towards the black king. Report calls wow. bluff. He's saying, he's saying, okay, come at me. I'm a piece up. Lawrence, this one could go either way. This is so much more uh, kind of topsy-turvy, double-edged than the previous game. This is really amazing. I mean, Magnus going for this very speculative uh, peace sacrifice, but I, I don't know whether I believe it, you know. Knight takes c3 yeah. now for black. Uh, what, where, where, where is the compensation? Uh, if I just uh, take uh, this pawn right. or if I bring the queen into f5, protect a few pawns, threaten this pawn? This is a this is a bluff. This is a bluff. Yeah. Rook b4? What am I watching? Magnus here? rolling the dice here. Magnus Carlsen, he's giving up even more material. He's landed a check, but it has come at the cost of a white rook. So he's guaranteed to be a piece down. Hey, he's still got this very strong f7 pawn, Magnus Carlsen. Uh, he's now dropped his queen back, attacking this black bishop on the edge of the board. Ooh, Rapport's living life on the edge with this king on a6, but... If he survives, he's just a piece up. Lawrence, I think you're right to be skeptical yeah. about White's chances. You're running out of ammunition. You're a whole rook down right now. The white rook can't really join the battle. The knight oh, this should be four. Class and... move. Class move. There. We're gonna see. We're gonna see Magnus take the win. Surely now. Just Why gotta be careful. Of... Just... There's some perpetual Sorry, check. Queen b5, queen d7, and queen takes. Is there some perpetual that we're missing, or what is I'm, this? I'm not so sure. Black's queen can slide into e4, give a check, grab white's rook in the corner, and you still protect along the diagonal. I think you can get away with this. Be greedy. Magnus is now Let's down see. two rooks for just one bishop, and he's five with pawns. Desperation. Is it good enough, though? Wow, a5, huge threat of a6. Black is playing without the queen temporarily. Look at that white king out in the open. This is just a crazy game. Black, you would think, must be wow. winning, but the evaluation bar says no. Says it is a draw. Magnus giving peace odds, as said there by Not Chicken Man in the feature chat. I mean, it's more than just a piece here. It's two rooks. But Magnus has a queen. Magnus has a bishop. And White's king is safe Incredible. from checks. Incredible. What a concept rook this is. Rook d8. But now Magnus is going to promote to a new queen. He's going to deflect oh away the black goodness. rooks. Giving up his valuable oh, seven pawn. And he's sliding in. Checkmate threatened, Lawrence. Black there's a rook takes f4. There's a rook takes f4. I think Magnus this has is missed just this. An, an, no, no, I don't think Magnus has missed this. He had queen, to allow this. Now it's going to end in queen perpetual G check. Why is it perpetual check? I take, I take a bunch of pawns. I don't but believe Black's queen. Is the black queen getting back in time? Checkmate is threatened. Magnus has queen b7 on tap. Can Rapport find more than a draw? Is then is the there evaluation bar has reacted. Is there a G5 check somewhere that's going to some some sort of maybe, check? or <laughs> Maybe we'll try and pull up what the computer says, because from a human point of view, it's very Plays difficult it. to see. G5 and there's an H5. Croissant. There's an H5. The king, and that's, back. The king yeah. has to hide Black's in behind. I, no, it's over. Black's king point. G5. Oh, my goodness. It's all yeah, over. You're right, surely. Lawrence. Look at Magnus, he's taken his king off the board. It's that bad right now, his position. I think you're right, Rapport has found a way. The queen is going to snake her way back using checks. She's about to give a check, I think, from uh, the h4 square. Is that right? The queen needs to capture on f4, the black queen, in order to get back. Queen g4 check, king. surely. Queen g4, just yeah. trade the queens. Got to calculate, though. White has some pawns. It's not over. Ah, yeah, you Lawrence, got two yeah, pawns. This... Goodness. He's this played it. He's played it. Probably is. It's a race. Black is surely ahead in Brilliant. the race here, though. Brilliant, Richard Rapport. Mm -hmm. He's got to promote to a new queen. Both sides will make a new queen at the same time, but Black promotes first, and Black will give a bunch of checks. This should be over. Magnus <laughs> makes a new queen of his own, but now some accurate checks. Queen G1, slide it across. Yep. Got to be winning. Surely now. But uh, never say never, Lawrence Magnus, still fighting, still alive. 
Incredible game. Yeah. Favourite game so far of the tournament. Yeah, so topsy-turvy, so much to unpack. I wish we could have spent hours analysing this game, but yeah, it does look like Rapport is going to take the win. All Black needs to do is bring the Queen back. He's doing that zigzag motion, getting the Queen back slowly but surely. Now move like check Queen E6 check, yes. Or C3, he's just mm -hmm. covering everything. Beautiful stuff by Rapport. Mm -hmm. Queen F7. Got to be careful of the mate. There's still yep. Queen B7 check. Well, it's King can hide from the checks. Queen B7 is coming. Rapport, Oof. is he getting nervous? Magnus down to two seconds now with his last move. Oh, oh, oh Rapport. It's me! He's, he's yeah. blundered. Oh, no. He's blundered. He's blundered Magnus has made a new queen. And now if Queen takes G8, Queen B7, it's a huge turnaround. Oh, my goodness me. He... Got nervous there, he botched it, and now Magnus is the one with the extra queen and the checkmating threats. What a game. White's king has lived a charmed life, surviving this far, if it survives till the end. Wow, Magnus is going to take the win. Black's queen coming back now. What a move by Magnus Carlson, a back wow. checkmate, giving up one of his queens. He's won, and wow. look at Magnus's face on the camera. He knows he's got away with murder in that game, Lawrence. That is one of the craziest games I've ever seen at the World Blitz Championship. Magnus Carlsen, dead to rights. He was toast. It was forced mate for Rickard Rapport. And Magnus comes with just an incredible resource. And Rickard missing this shot at the end with Magnus making a new queen, pinning the queen and therefore forcing Ricard to accept the material deficit. I, I mean, that is one of the games. Put this on the board. Let's show that moment where Rapport blundered, uh, allowing this really tricky tactic from Magnus Carlsen. Uh, it was here, or maybe a couple of moves before uh, that he'd already let it slip. But uh, let's show Queen E8 here, the mistake uh, by Rapport. Yeah, Rapport had safer ways to win the game, of course. He's still winning this For example, on. here the move Rook C6 check was a fairly simple win because after king f5 queen f2 and you just collect the queen fairly simple stuff rapport went with the checks which is the natural human thing to do but already around here things are tricky again why threatening the mate and threatening to make a queen and it was here where rapport played this horrific move queen e8 looks like it wins because it feels like you forced a trade of queens but now after g8 queen all of a sudden you protect the queen so if queen takes queen queen takes queen is just murder in that game lawrence that is one of the craziest games i've ever seen at the world blitz championship magnus carlson dead to rights he was toast it was forced mate for Ricard rapport and magnus comes with just an incredible resource and Rickard missing this shot at the end with Magnus making a new queen, pinning the queen and therefore forcing Rickard to accept the material deficit. I, I mean, that is one of the games of the tournament.